Hey guys, welcome back to our vegan kitchen where dogs are drinking all the time. <laughs> anyway, I have a little quickie recipe for today. Um, it's more of a tryout, like I don't know how this is gonna go. So let's find out together. Oh. <laughs> So you guys have seen me make uh, homemade tortillas before, corn tortillas, and I love them. They taste so fresh. They really elevate any dish where you use uh, tortillas to a higher level. But they're kind of a pain in the ass, especially since I don't have a tortilla press. So I supposed I got my waffle cone maker, and it's almost like a tortilla press. I hope I don't bust it, but I have a feeling that it might be pretty good at making tortillas. Let's see what Fingers happens. Crossed. Welcome to the test kitchen. Well, I just bought some new... I, this isn't Maseca, but it's like Maseca. It's called Pan or Pan. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. But it's basically pre-cooked white cornmeal. So I'm following the recipe that came on the package that I taped on my storage jar here which is two cups of the flour. Mm -hmm. We have one teaspoon of salt. And then two and a half cups of hot water. Or was it warm? I don't know. <laughs> it ain't cold. So let's pour out our two and a half cups. They say it takes like five minutes to make or whatever. Okay. So we'll see. And that's three, two more. Uh-oh, will I make it? I hope so. And five. All right, that seems like very watery, but it's been a while since I made these. So they say uh, mix it and knead it for two minutes and then let it rest for two minutes or five minutes. <laughs> Luce, you ready for a drink? It smells <laughs> delicious. Yeah, it does. It smells like grits. Yeah, it smells like grits for sure. Yeah. I had to get in closer for yeah. a, a smell. All right, well, let's check back after I get this all mixed up and it's rested, and then we'll heat up our waffle cone maker and hope See for what the best. See what we can do. Hope for the best, but expect the best. <laughs> oh. Okay, so it's been... A long time. <laughs> I was on the phone with Granny. <laughs> I'm going to pre-flatten these out because I'm getting a little nervous, but <clears throat> we'll see what happens. I just plugged in the um, waffle iron here, and it's not hot enough yet, so let's just give it one more minute, and then we're just going to... Well, maybe it is. Yeah, I guess. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. You know the first one's always the tester anyway. Yeah. I'm, this top doesn't get hot, but I just don't want to take any chances. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have to pre-flatten them some more. Mm -hmm. Because the batter's quite thick. It is quite thick. But... No, oh, maybe not. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> it's up on the top. All yeah. Right, so let's give that a few minutes and then we'll see what it looks like. All right. So um, this one's a little thick, but let's try another one. You know, the first one's always a fart. So <laughs> let's try another one of these. This one seems to be maybe a little bit thinner. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's bigger than the thing. Uh oh. Let's clamp it. <laughs> How long did you leave the first one? Uh, the first one was about four and a half minutes, maybe five. Okay. All right, so we're at 537. Let's see what happens. Some of it's coming out. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> it's a learning curve. It's a learning process. Yes. All right, so we already <laughs> tasted it, and you can see... It's, it's kind of like a communion wafer. It does remind me of a communion wafer, but like tasty. It's got a nice corny flavor to it. It does. I'll take another little piece. Thank you. 
I think it would be, what if we made these into like um, corn waffle cones? Oh my God. And them with like chili. That'd be fun. Something like that. I'd be into it. I think it would be really good as like a Mexican pizza. Mm -hmm. Like with the layers Ooh, stacked yeah. up. I gotta say, it is very tasty. It really is. <laughs> Let's see how this one's doing. This one's been in for three minutes about. Let's see if it's a little more pliable. Yeah, maybe this is a little bit better if we wanted to roll it. Yeah. Yeah, the first one was a little thick. Yeah, but that could work too. I mean... Yeah, like it as its own thing. Yeah. So like depending on what you want to do with it. Oh yeah, there you go. You know. <laughs> that's, you know, what you end up with. Let's try the thinner one. All right. It's pretty hot though. All right, so it's a little more pliable. This part's probably not that cooked because it was <laughs> Yeah, take out. off the not cooked parts. Yeah, okay. I wonder if these would make good like tortilla chips if we made them like really crispy. Mmm. Mmm. I mean, really good scooping up some salsa. Yeah, or like some cheese sauce. Yeah. It is very tasty for being plain. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe we should try and uh, make some that are like so crispy. Yeah. And then uh, we'll see. Right? Mm hmm. All right. So I mixed a little bit more water with it so that it's more um, scrunchable. Okay. So let's see what happens um, when it's wetter. And then uh, maybe the next one will make it even more like pour it out, you know, like a waffle thing. We were just talking about how it would be interesting to make a savory waffle, like on the on the Belgian waffle maker, and then pour chili over it, or have um, like taco night on that with some cheese sauce. Mm, it'd be good. Yeah, I'm really curious now to see how the Belgian waffle maker will do with this. I always thought, you know, oh, let's just do the thin one because that's like uh, taco chips, you know, tortilla chips. But I think it would be really nice as like a waffle. Yeah. All right. So thinner, I think, worked a little bit better. We were able to achieve more of like a It really does remind tortilla. me of a giant communion wafer. Right? Now I thinned it down even more. This is more of like pour-on situation. Mm-hmm. So let's see how this one's going to work. That would be more doable than trying to squeeze the hell out of these. Yeah. I think the waterier... The better. Yeah. But not too watery. Of course. you got to find the happy medium. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it's squeezing out. I also got to get used to how, how much, much to put on there at mm -hmm. a time. It's a possibility. All right. Um, we opened this one before and it was kind of a mess, so <laughs> I'm not surprised, but it was too wet. Yeah. So now we know what's too wet. That's too far. It's too much. The one before that, I think, was really Perfect. the sweet spot. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, oh. this probably needs a little more time, but yeah. <laughs> so that's where we're at. Um, Hope you enjoyed today's episode of the Veganist Fork Test Kitchen. One, um, after a while, I think it's pretty perfect because yeah. it rolls and it's not breaking. Mm -hmm. This would be a really nice crunchy boy over there. Yeah. This would be a really nice like uh, corn type burrito type situation. Yeah. So you're ready to answer the question? Will it waffle? Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. So... Um, I'm gonna make the rest of these. I'm gonna water this down a little bit and make them all like this. Mm -hmm. This would probably make really nice enchiladas too. Like yeah. Thick enchiladas. I think so. So that's our video for today. I hope you enjoyed something a little bit different. I mean, we've been doing straight recipes the whole month pretty much so far. So this one's a little bit different, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. We're gonna be doing this for the entire month of January. We appreciate you watching, and until next time, much love.